What's up guys, welcome back to another story time video, man. This kind of felt a little bit nice to say because I haven't done a story time video in a long time. I don't remember when was the last time I made one, probably like a couple months ago or like, I don't know, two, three months ago. And story times are really fun to make for me personally because kind of a little flashback into my life. You know, what I used to do as a kid. And some stories, sometimes I'm like, damn, dude, I, I suck. You know, I suck as a person. Why did I do stuff like this? And today's one of those stories where I suck, man, because I'm going to be talking about how I used to steal money from my classmates like in like third and fourth grade this sounds so bad man this legit sounds like one of those bad kids that you have in class you know that just bullies everybody and steals money whatever <laughs> and okay it's not as bad as it, actually it is pretty bad okay it legit is what I, the title is and what i'm saying i was actually stealing from my classmates so let's start with a little story behind this so i actually started my school oh uh, not my school i started going to school in russia i used to live in russia that's where i learned russian and that's the reason i have an accent because i learned i was i speak russian mostly because with my family and stuff and i learned that i'm not the best i, I can speak it like perfectly but there's still some words some stuff that i don't understand does not make sense to me i know english better than i do russian so it's because i'm older and i learned english now and i know more like mature words i guess you could say and russian i just know like uh as good as like a i don't know like a 10 year old kid or like a 12 year old kid you know i don't know that good i don't know what i'm talking about dude honestly that's off topic doesn't even matter but what it was so when i was in school uh you know normal class and you know how sometimes in class your teacher will be like oh guys we have this or you have to buy the books or you have to buy a uniform because in in, in, in russia you wear a uniform so you wear the same uniform to school every single day you can't wear whatever you want <laughs> so when i came to the united states and i actually found out that i don't have to wear a nice nice dress nice dress pants and like dress like a jacket and nice shoes when i found that out i was like so excited man because i was like dude i can actually feel comfortable wearing whatever i want and going to school you know and actually enjoy myself because i hate it where i'm not the type of person who like dresses up really nice all the time i'm not saying that i want to look like a bum all the time obviously i do like dressing nice and looking nice but i'm talking about all those like costumes like you know crazy like nice looking outfits that rich people wear you know like a hitman would wear you know what i'm saying and i never like that stuff so you know people would bring money to school to buy that stuff because the teacher would ask like or you have to buy some book or you have to pay some fee for the class or something like that and whenever the kids would bring that i would be sitting like kind of towards the back of the class and i'll be just looking at people who have the money because sometimes there will be like a teacher asked did you guys bring the money to pay this and people raise their hand and they like show the money that they brought it and i'm like boom i automatically would spot that money and i'm like oh i got some money man and dude this this is so horrible man i don't think i can i, I don't i can't get arrested for this right guys this was like in a different country and this was when I was like freaking third grade, okay? Everybody stole in third grade, fourth grade. Probably stole a pencil, probably stole a lollipop or something, you know? Happened to everybody. I know I'm not the only person in this world. But this is just a story time telling you guys what not to do when you guys are, I don't know. I know most of you guys are young, but I'm just saying. So I would see people like raise their money, show their money, and I would watch where they would put it. And when I would see that, I'm like, damn, dude, I got some money. And I'm hungry right now. And what we had is like a little cafeteria. I know almost every school has it. But you can go there anytime you want. And there's always like food. And you can buy whatever you want. And whenever we would have a break. All these kids. You know how when we're kids. You don't really look at money as in like that big thing. You don't really understand how money works. You don't know how what, what bills are what. You know like don't really make sense to you. You know just paper to you. And people. The kids would not really care. And they would just legit put it like in their pocket on their jacket. And they will leave the jacket like in the classroom while they go like in the hallway run around and play or something on a break you know and i will be the last person to leave and you guys already know why you know <laughs> so nobody in the classroom and i'm like kind of leaving and i kind of like kneel down right in front of the jacket where i saw the money going take the money out and i'm out of there i'm just happy running to the cafeteria buy myself a whole bunch of food save some extra for later like after school so i can go to the store buy a whole bunch of candy bars 
and all this stuff, you know, try to buy sweets because back in the day when I was a little kid, like buying like candy bars, like a freaking luxury, dude, you like, you feel like you're like the richest kid or something. Like it was, <laughs> it was kind of funny how like everything changed, but yeah, it was, it felt really nice, but also uh, it's a bad thing that I was stealing. Okay, guys, don't, don't ignore the part that it's, um, I was actually the stealing. I know I'm saying I had fun and everything. I buy myself candy. Everybody loves candy, but I stole that money and that was not good. And this one day, what I remember really well, it was the funniest thing that happened is I was sitting there scout scouting out this girl and not not because I'm like freaking stalking her or whatever. I'm looking where she's gonna put her money because she brought money too. I don't remember what exactly for, but she brought money and I was sitting all the way in the back and there were a couple people in the class and that girl just put her money out I think in her backpack. Yeah, I remember in the backpack and she just leaves the classroom and I saw where she put the money and I'm sitting there I was like dude she had a lot of money too and I'm like dude I'm about to steal that money I'm about to be rich dude I'm about to get food and everything save some for extra and the funniest thing happens I'm sitting there in the back I'm about to get up of the chair and like walk up to the backpack unzip and take the money and guess what happens one of the kids in the class was doing the same exact thing like he did not see me he did not think i was doing the same thing he didn't even see me looking at the backpack too he gets up quietly kind of kneels down in front of the backpack unzips it and takes out the money like right in front of me when i was watching from back of the class and he thought that nobody saw him but i saw him and i'm like damn dude what the hell this guy just stole money right in front of me he's the freaking worst person ever who steals money no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah he basically took the money that i was gonna steal and i'm like damn dude that's crazy i just legit witnessed i was like I didn't know what to do because I really wanted to get that money too. And I'm like, damn. And that guy just grabs the money and just leaves the classroom. And I just start walking after him. And he looks back and he sees me and he just starts running. I'm like, what the hell? And I start running after him. And I'm like, hey, dude, I know I, I know you grabbed it. I was like, I'm not going to tell anybody. And then he like stopped and he turned around. He's like, okay, man, please don't tell anybody. And it was the funniest thing ever. I was like, okay, I won't tell anybody if you share with me. Dude, this is so horrible. I told him, I was like, okay, okay let's go to the cafeteria together. Like, I'm not going to tell anyone let's just share okay he's like okay and he gave me a half and he kept a half and we just went and like bought ourselves food and yeah man that was the funniest thing ever like that second part was pretty funny so yeah guys i used to freaking steal money man uh i would never steal anymore obviously i'm a grown person now i don't do that kind of stuff i don't steal i don't do all that bad stuff you know i'm a good white boy no nah, i'm kidding but yeah i don't steal anymore uh felt really bad like whenever i think that whenever that comes to my head i feel horrible for doing that because that's kind of messed up honestly like, stealing from little kids i mean i was a little kid myself too I, I didn't know what i was doing i didn't know what pr trouble i can get into all i was caring about is buying myself a candy bar being a freaking fat ass that i was in, in freaking middle school or elementary school whatever that was but yeah man i mean also it's a funny experience that i experienced myself also a little story to tell you guys to not steal money because nobody likes getting stuff stolen from me because i've experienced getting stuff stolen from me too like small stuff like at school especially like in russia too you get your stuff stolen all the time like people will legit steal like coats and like jackets and stuff like that it was kind of funny like so ran up because back then at those times everything was so valuable so if you had like good clothing or whatever you could legit get that stuff stolen and you'll probably never see it again it was kind of funny but that's how it is man that's how it is on the other side of the world people steal everything people will legit steal, steal like erasers i would get my eraser or like a pencil stolen all the time i mean it was kind of random stuff but i guess that's karma for me you know what goes around comes around uh i stole stuff and I got stuff stolen from me but that last part with the other, other classmate of mine uh stealing money and, and me like witnessing and chasing him down and be like I'm not gonna tell anybody just share the money with me it was so funny dude I will never forget that man but hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed this story time and I want to make these more often but like I said whenever I come up with this story like or like something randomly pops up to my head that's when I do them I'll write them down because I can't just randomly pull out a random story like I don't know where you know like I just want I want it's it's all legit stuff you know like because I'm, I don't have a freaking whole storage of like stories or like I can't freaking look back in my memory like sometimes I do something and some story just randomly pops up into my head I was like oh that would be pretty interesting to make a video on and I make it for you guys but yeah hope you guys enjoyed let me know how you guys think Think about this i remember the guys no stealing stealing is bad okay guys i don't want you guys to be stealing over here but yeah peace out guys